Hello, traders, and welcome to this short video presentation. Uh, I'm going to try to explain in a nutshell, and this is the first video of the MetaTrader 5 trend trader that we have released here at uh, RobotFX. And uh, first of all, let me tell you a secret if you are familiar with our products. So far, we've done very good MetaTrader 4 expert advisors and indicators. And this uh, uh, MetaTrader 5 Expert Advisor is very similar with the non lag moving average Expert Advisor for MetaTrader 4. So if you are still on MetaTrader 4, and uh, I admire that because I also haven't switched to MetaTrader 5, I'm still, I still think MT4 is way better, uh, then you can go ahead and try this on our robotfx.ro website. <clears throat> right now, Let's go to this uh, this uh, first explanation. Uh, so, uh, MT5, MetaTrader 5 Trend Trader, the RobotFX MT5 Trend Trader is, well, by its name, uh, an expert advisor designed to trade with the trend. And uh, that's its main function, trade with the trend accordingly, buy in an uptrend, sell in downtrend, uh, filter fake signals, <coughs> excuse me, fake entries, Sometimes they ha they happen. The expert advisor can filter them. Um, it can also manage the open trades. It can allocate a proper lot size trade accordingly with your free margin and equity. If something bad happens, the expert advisor can recover a trade, uh, a lost trade. Um, either it's a it's a, either it's a, an open trade or a, a closed trade. And uh, in a nutshell, it's a fully automated early in one trading solution. Now, let's talk about the trend a little. The expert advisor uses this uh, trend uh, line, trend moving average. Let's call it trend line, it's shorter. Uh, it uses a trend line that has two colors, one for, uh, that can be chosen by the trader, by the way, one for down and one for up. And one way, the expert advisor can determine the trend is by its color. And by the way, there are three ways to determine the trend. And the trader can choose either of them. So first of all, the color. If the trend line color is black, <coughs> excuse me again, then the expert advisor considers that we have a downtrend and it will open cells. If it's white, then there's an uptrend. And it's one option. The second option is the position of the price. Uh, regarding this uh, trend line. So if the price is below the moving average, the trend line, the expert advisor will sell and uh, vice versa for, uh, for buy. And finally, uh, it will take both these criteria into consideration, the color and the position. So for the expert advisor to sell, the price must be below the moving average. And the moving average must be black color. And for it to buy, it must be above and uh, the trend line must be white. That means that in this area between these two parallel yellow lines, <clears throat> the expert advisor will do nothing, which is a good thing because sometimes uh, consolidation zone happens, and, uh, especially when the trend changes, and we don't know um, whether the price will continue with the trend or reverse, and that's when the expert advisor stops trading. Now. After establishing the trend, the expert advisor uses a similar uh, moving average that we'll call a signal line to enter uh, the trades. And trading with the trend one on one, that means that the expert advisor in uh, <coughs> sorry, I think I have a cold. So um, that means that in a downtrend, as it happens in the left side of the chart right here, uh, when the, the color changes of the signal line changes from up, white into black, the expert advisor will open cells. And when the, change, the trend reverses, it will open buys when the color changes from black into white this time. So again, trading with the trend 101, the price creates these swings, the price is falling, we must ride the wave falling down. And when the price is rising, we must ride the wave uh, going up and so on. Um, it can also be instructed uh, the expert advisor to, clo uh, clo to close an open trade <laughs> when uh, 
when the signal line changes the color back. So this is my uh, preferred way of trading. To be honest, I trade I trade very safely. Uh, I only want uh, one open trade on the chart, and so uh, I instruct the expert advisor to close the open trade as soon as the signal line changes the color. And uh, so that means the expert advisor will open a buy here, stop it, exit here, uh, open, close, open, close, and so on. Now, there are ways to deal with, uh, with the fake entries, the fake signals. And one of those is to use a high-low zone confirmation uh, to filter trades, um, um, those fake, uh, fake signals that might happen. So when a price swing is about to end uh, or when a reverse is about to happen, then the expert advisor can happen those, can, uh, sorry, can uh, stop those uh, trades or not opening them. I will go into this when I will talk about the settings and I will explain this in detail. Right now, just the main idea. Another way uh, for the expert advisor to prevent that is to well, to prevent the expert advisor to, to open the, too many trades at once. So even though we have here two, op two signals, two sell signals, one close to the other, <clears throat> then one option would have been to modify the trend uh, signal to another value, another one to set the uh, option in the expert advisor settings to allow the next open trade uh, that if you wanted to allow it to open more than one trade to allow it to open the next uh, trade only after a certain number of bars or candles. So we must trade safe, we must filter the fake signals and don't over trade. Uh, there are ways to deal with losses as well. If that happens, and it will probably happen because it is trading, even worse, it's Forex trading. Um, then one of them is hedging. That means uh, hedging basically opening an opposite order uh, while an open order or the chart it's losing money so the price went against you you might not want to use a stop loss and uh, well lose you might want to open an opposite order if if you think uh, that the the trend will the trend reversed oh, uh, so that is order will have a higher lot size than the original order and uh, both their profits, when well, one negative, one positive, will soon reach zero because the second one, it's a high lot size. That's hedging, by the way. And another way is Martingale. That's, uh, well, for those of you who can do it, I personally can do it. So many traders are afraid of it. I understand why. The Martingale is simply increasing the lot size of the next trade whenever a loss occurs. So if it if it's done properly, it can be profitable. If not, better don't use it if you don't know how. Now, how to hedge? <clears throat> a little about hedging. Um, and what I've said before, when hedging, the expert advisor can close a trading basket. Uh, a trading basket meaning in this uh, scenario, when we have opposite trades on the chart, buys and sells. As soon as their profit uh, or the, the trading basket profit reaches, reach, reaches a certain amount, that within the expert advisor settings we call minimum profit. And again, I'll talk about the settings in the next video. So basically, if you set the minimum profit to zero, the expert advisor can close all open trades on the chart, no matter how many they are, uh, as soon as the profit reaches zero, like a, a break-even profit level, and there are two ways to hedge with the trend, to hedge uh, used by this expert advisor. Uh, one, it's a fixed zone that you might be familiar with. Um, that means that the expert advisor will uh, open um, buys and sells at a certain distance, uh, one from each other, as it happened right here. As you can see, the expert advisor opened a sell. Uh, when it shouldn't, then it placed this uh, pending order because we are hedging. So instead of placing a stop loss, although you can instruct it to, to, uh, to place stop losses as well, but I haven't in this chart. Uh, so instead of uh, placing a stop loss, I, I instructed it to uh, place a pending order of a higher lot size 
at a certain distance in pips. I think it was 50, I don't remember when I took the screenshots. This is just for demonstration only anyway. So <clears throat> at that point when the price went up, um, the sum, uh, the profit of the basket uh, started to, to decrease, decrease until, uh, I mean the negative part, and at some point it reached uh, zero, zero, zero dollars, zero profit, and at that point Expert Advisor closed both of them. So basically I haven't lost money by using a stop loss from this losing trade. Um, I've lost nothing. I've managed to close a losing trade at zero instead of negative and then the expert advisor resume trading and open itself now another way to trade uh, to hedge so it's uh, it's um, fluid hedging that means that we open opposite trades only if there's a trend and a signal and we also call the fluid the uh, hedging method hedge with the trend so basically means let this trade open eventually place a stop loss a higher level to leave the price uh, distance to move and however if the the trend changes then open uh, start opening buys that would be hedging with the the trend another useful features that uh, the expert advisor has are um, a trading that can uh, sorry a filter that can um, filter the days to trade, the holidays, Christmas, New Year, and so on. Also, on a no farm payroll filter. You might want, you might not want to trade the NFP uh, Friday or the Thursday before it. Uh, there's a time session filter. You can instruct this part of other to trade only within the, the London session or the beginning of it or whatever time frames you decide to choose. Uh, you can restrict the expert advisor to open um, a certain uh, to open trades by number to, to limit it to, to a certain number of trades uh, and also by time as i said before the uh, op next trade uh, open the next trade after a certain number of candles uh, you can also instruct it to stop trading after a trading session so if the expert advisor closed all these trades here i mean both of them Close this uh, basket of trades here. You can you could have instructed the expert advisor to just stop trading and remove itself from the chart, or even close the meta trader uh, if you just wanted to to give it a rest. What else? Uh, the expert advisor can use a uh, fixed lot size or a smart lot size depending on the. I've already said that depending on the on the equity on the free margin actually and of course the expert advisor has all the other settings that uh, any other decent expert advisor has and needs it has the stop loss the take profit the trailing stop the break even and so on uh, let's see have we finished yes and um, this is all i had to say about this expert advisor now again the robot effects.ro it's our meta trader for website our MetaTrader 5 website is mt5robotfx.ro and here is where you will find this version of uh, a free version of the MT5 Train Trader Expert Advisor. The free version works and should work on, de on demo accounts only and you can download it for free. Go ahead and click the download button that you will find on the website and it will download it. And we also have the settings explained again on the website uh, if you want to give it a read if not uh, wait for the second video that i will uh, shoot and probably it will be uploaded uh, when you watch this video anyway um, then i will talk about the settings and what each of them can do and hopefully about the different uh, combination between settings that can lead to different uh, behavior of the expert advisor until then good luck trading and thank you for watching this video and bye bye